everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to come back uh, to my channel looking way better than this, but I have not slept all night and I'm exhausted. So that's why I look like this. But as you can see from the title of today's video, we are doing another animal rescue today. I have not done a guinea pig rescue in over a year. I, it's probably been like a year and a half. I honestly don't even remember the last one that I've done. Like it's been a while. The last like adoption video was six months ago and that was for my boyfriend's cat. And if you guys wanted an update on her, I named her Frankie at the time, but she is now named Scissors and she loves my boyfriend and he loves her and she's been spayed and vaccinated and everything. So she's doing really great. The last guinea pig I rescued was Ricky, which was over a year ago. And um, that was a sad rescue. I still miss him every single day. Honestly, that rescue kind of just put me off of doing it for a while because I had a hard time with his death and I just needed some mental time to just calm down because rescuing is hard work because you can spend all this money and you could take all this time taking pets to the vet and they still pass away and it's very frustrating and it just takes a toll on my mental health so I just needed to step back. I told myself whenever I felt like something was calling to me I will do it. So I was scrolling through Facebook uh, a couple days ago, like four or five days ago, and I saw somebody post like free guinea pig to a good home, cage and supplies included, and it was a picture of him. So I'll put a picture on the screen right now. Honestly, from the pictures, I thought he was pretty young because his nails looked like, his feet and nails look really little, like little guinea pigs do. So I was like, maybe he's a baby, like a younger one. But then I messaged her and she said that he was four years old. She has had him his entire life. They got him from the pet store four years ago. And he's been living in that tiny pet store cage for four years. Um, no friends, just in that cage. She bought him for her daughter who was at the time a preteen and wanted one. And now her daughter is about to graduate high school and she doesn't really care about the guinea pig anymore. That's another rant that I could go on for another day. You guys know how I feel about situations like that, but from what it seems, the lady is giving the proper diet. She's doing the veggies, the pellets. I'm not sure what kind of pellets yet. She's doing the hay. Um, it just seems like what she is doing wrong is the enclosure. So it's not the worst rescue I have seen, but I haven't actually gotten the pig yet, so I'm not too sure. Um, but like I said, he's four years old, so he's a little bit older. Um, a lot of people don't want to take in older pigs because they can have health issues or they, they don't live as long as like having a baby. But all of my guinea pigs now are about three or four and then I have Coffee who is now seven. Um, I figured I would take in this little guy, try to bond him with beans after Chip has passed away. And I have not talked about that because he passed away about like a month ago and it was really rough and I don't want to bring this video down but I'm just going to kind of go over all the updates real quick at the beginning of this video and then we're going to get into the fun stuff. I've kind of told myself coming back to my channel I just needed a break for a while because my mental health regarding this channel was just not the best. I still get death threats like multiple times a week. People like accusing me of killing my animals and stuff and I know that comes with the territory of being a pet YouTuber but it does become a lot when you are grieving the death of an animal that you love and also having people telling you that you did it. So I it just, I needed a break. Um, I've been trying to like sit down and film videos for the past like six months and I just can't get myself to do it. So I just decided to take a long break. Um, I deactivated my pet Instagram. I don't think that's gonna be coming back. I just don't enjoy Instagram and the pet community. And from now on, on this channel, I am just going to be uploading videos and most of the video comments are either gonna be turned off or moderated just for the sake of my mental health. So Chip did pass away um, about a month ago. I have no idea what was wrong with him, honestly. Literally like three hours before I found him deceased in his cage, he was running around popcorning, eating his veggies, eating his food normally, his poops were normal, literally everything was normal. And then I come in a couple hours later to give them some more hay and water before I go to bed and he was dead. So I have honestly no idea. I ha I was mourning his death for a while. Like I'm just now able to talk about it without crying because I loved Chip and I really wanted Chip and Beans to be able to have a relationship and I wasn't able to bond them in time. And now I feel bad for Beans because he's had two friends pass away. So I really hope that this pig will be able to bond with Beans. And if not, I do have backup plans. I have the guinea pig rescue on speed dial, so if this pig does not bond well with my guinea pig family, I have a whole guinea pig rescue that is willing to help me 
whether it comes to like fostering him through the rescue, finding him a new home, finding him a friend. I don't know what route I'm gonna go. I don't know what route I'm gonna go through yet because I don't really want to get more guinea pigs. So that's why I like this rescue because he's an older guy. I have like five backup plans for this pig. So I always think everything through before I do stuff. So yeah, I'm sitting in here in my doll room for my, cause I film videos in here for my doll channel and half of the room is also my studio space. I'm gonna be putting him in here just for the first like week because this room is quiet. So he will feel more comfortable because he's used to being enclosed so much. This room is just quiet, he has his own space. I'll be able to bond with him better because it's just me and him in here. I also wanna make sure he doesn't have any health conditions, health issues that the old owner doesn't know about or maybe does. Um, I just wanna make sure he's healthy enough to bring him into the pet room with healthy pets. We're gonna go ahead and set up the cage. I know that update was like really long. I could go into more detail of why I decided to take a break and everything, but honestly, just wanna let you guys know that like for my mental health, I needed to take a step back. Um, but I am gonna be coming back. I'm gonna be uploading a couple times a month, hopefully. I'm gonna be doing vlogs here and there. Okay, so like I said, half of this room is my studio space, but we're gonna build a cage on the open floor in this side of the room. I'm not really in here unless I'm filming a doll channel video or I'm packing orders. So I'm only in here like a couple times a month. So this is a good room to like be a little quarantine room. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and build his cage. I think I'm gonna do a two by five. I feel like that's a good size for one guinea pig who's getting used to having a whole new world basically. And I'm also gonna be decorating his cage for Christmas. All of this old Christmas stuff that I used in previous years for my pet rats and also some guinea pig beds that I used in previous years as well that I totally forgot that I had and when I went through storage, I found them. So I'm gonna give him this cute reindeer bed. So we're gonna decorate for Christmas for his cage. And then I have all these cute like hanging things because I use them for my pet rats, but I obviously don't have my rats anymore because they've all passed away. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. This can still be used for guinea pigs because I can like hang it from the cage. This one is a little too small. So I may donate those to the rat rescue near me. Then I have this cute Christmas tree guinea pig house. Um, I'm probably going to use this in my other guinea pig cages, but I got that at Five Below last year. And I have all of these liners. These don't have the U-Haul padding inside of them, so um, they're mainly just going to be used for decoration, but I was just going to use them nonetheless because they're here. This one is so cute. My rats loved this, but this is also not going to fit a guinea pig, so I can't use that. Okay, so that's all the Christmas stuff. This cute little bow I could hang from the side of the cage too. We'll see. <laughs> and then I have this Christmas fleece that I'm going to use. Um, I bought a bunch of Christmas fleece last year and I was planning on making liners and I just never did. So this fleece has been washed like 800 times, honestly. And we are going to use this as the liner. And underneath the liner, I'm going to use some waterproof pee pads. Here's my stash of CNC grids that I keep in my closet. I have so many of them, as you can see. And we're just gonna be putting this directly on the floor. So I have about 45 minutes to get this all set up because I waited till the last minute to do it. So let's go ahead and do it. guys I just finished setting up the cage so I'm gonna show you what it looks like it's super cute I'm so excited I think I'm gonna go to the pet store after I pick him up and grab some extra toys because I don't have any extra toys right now to put in there with him because right now all he has is a bed and some food here it is I am absolutely obsessed with it I absolutely love having guinea pig cages on the floor I'm not a huge fan of stack cages like I currently have now. The only reason I have stack cages in the pet room is because it just saves so much more space. But I love floor cages because you can see everything so much better. You can step in it to clean it. I just wish that I could honestly turn this entire room here into like one big guinea pig cage like on the floor. 
and like separate all the cages like down the middle but I have so many boys compared to girls that like I don't want to accidental pregnancies or anything like that. But I would just love to have like one big room full of guinea pig cages. That would be like absolutely incredible because I hate stacked cages but that's another rant for another day. I just think that this came out so cute. So we have our little litter box with some hay and then we have our little reindeer bed and a water bottle. I'm not too sure what he's coming with. I told her I didn't need the cage because I don't want that tiny thing but she did say that she had some supplies that she'll give me so We'll see what supplies she will give me as well. Maybe he has some toys that she gives him that he likes, so we'll see. But I leave in about 20 minutes to go pick him up. And I've got my carrier right here. This carrier has been through it. It has so much staining on it. Like, I do wash it, but it's just been stained so much from being used with the pigs. Here we are. Here's our little carrier. We're gonna go pick him up. Honestly, really anxious. I haven't done a rescue in so long that I am anxious about it, but let's go. What's up? I got a new purse at the mall today. It came with a free guinea pig. His name is Leonard. <laughs> His name is not Leonard. What's up guys? It's our mukbang. We're gonna be eating 45 Nights at Freddy's Fazbear cookie pizzas from uh... Guinea pig. All right guys, I just got home. It was a really quick exchange. The exchange was honestly kind of sus. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but it was very quick and he's very cute. Um, I'll go over his like physical condition in a little bit, but I do wanna get him out and get him inside of the cage and we're gonna just watch him explore. He is so, so cute. He is very calm and I don't know if that's just his like personality. Oh, I don't know if that's his personality or if like sad or if he's just depressed. I don't really know, but he just is a very, very like calm boy, but he's, really calm. So let's just go ahead and put him in here and let's see how he reacts to his new cage. He's so chunky. Okay. Hi. Look at this. You can run around. He's chewing it. <laughs> it's like he's never experienced like having room to run around so he probably doesn't even know like what to do. He seems to be walking normal. I don't see any limping or anything. He seems very timid like he doesn't walk very much. The lighting is really bad in here so it's hard to see him but he's kind of walking like really low to the ground like really timid and I don't know if it's just because he like doesn't walk around very much but he matches the decor. Oh he's grooming. <laughs> Let's get him over here. Come on boy. Come on, buddy. All right, now that we got him home and he's here and he's eating some hay, I am going to kind of just go over the exchange because it was a little odd, I'm not gonna lie. She was incredibly nice. So this isn't about like personality or anything. It was just the, how quickly the exchange was. It was almost like she didn't want me to look at him and she was like rushing me, which I've never had that type of exchange when I've picked up any type of guinea pigs normally. People like don't want to give them to me or they go over their care with me or they just want to talk and like they just ask for pictures and stuff like this lady handed them to me in this little basket, which I will keep using this basket because it is cute, but she handed them to me in this basket and she said, thank you so much. And then she got back in her car and she drove away immediately. Like she didn't even let me ask any questions. The only answers that I got from her was through Facebook Messenger. So I know for a fact that he is four years old and they got him from a pet store. His name is Skylar, but I'm gonna change that name because I don't like that name. That's all I know about him is his age and his name. And from the pictures that she had on Facebook, he was in a pet store cage with little hay racks and stuff like that. That's pretty much all I know about him. Physically, I'll go, I, I'm gonna like clean him up and everything in a little bit, but physically his weight looks great. I do need to weigh him to get his exact weight. His nails are trimmed completely. His sack is clean. The only issues is that his ears are really crusty and his eyes are really crusty. So I think he just needs a good cleaning. Um, but he's not sneezing, he's not making any upper respiratory noises, all of his poops are normal, he's obviously eating great. So, other than that, like, his physical health looks okay from the outside. I mean, you never know what's going on in the inside, but he has this really cute quirk where his ears keep flopping up. And I feel like I need to think of a name that goes with the ears or something. I kind of want to give him a Christmas name because I got him 
a week before Christmas or some type of like cottagecore name because he just kind of gives me like cottagecore vibes. So I don't know what to name him yet, but he's doing really well. He's been eating. He's so calm. He takes pets perfectly. <laughs> he loves them pets. Um, he hasn't really moved out of the hay box yet. I'm waiting for him to like go in here or something to see him walk a little bit more, but he's pooping like crazy and all of his poops look great. So that's awesome. But yeah, she gave me this basket, which I will use to hold the hay that she gave me. She gave me some Katie Timothy hay. This is kind of just the hay that you buy at um, grocery stores near me. You don't even have to go to a pet store to buy this. They sell it at like Target, Walmart, Kroger, Publix. Like they have it at all those places. So I'm assuming this is the hay that she's been feeding him. If you just have one guinea pig, then this hay is plenty. But I'm just gonna finish up that bag and then I'll start using my hay. And then she just gave me a bag full of like random little ads, which I'm assuming is what she had in the cage with him. So they're, they definitely look extremely old. They've definitely been washed very many times. I have some similar myself, but these are just like little like lap pads that you can put, um, they're not even absorbent, so you couldn't really put them under like a water bottle or anything. But I'll go ahead and put this one in here so he has the smell of his previous owner on here to make him feel more comfortable, just in case she he actually does have a bond with her and he's just really sad. There's that one. This is like a kitchen mat, which means it is absorbable. I don't know if I'll use it, but that is pretty smart actually to use kitchen mats. And then we have more of these little pads. So I'll keep using these pads, honestly. They're really great to put inside of like areas and stuff like that. That's all she gave me. She didn't give me any toys, um, any hidey houses. I wasn't expecting much, honestly. He was completely free. Just honestly, the exchange was really weird. She basically threw him at me and then got in her car and left. Like she didn't even give me a chance to really talk to her at all, which she could have had anxiety. I totally understand. I also have anxiety. But when it comes to things like this, I just would think that somebody wouldn't just throw him away and then move on. But he seems very, very sweet. And I'm just going to um, give him time to relax before I start. So I'm going to let him relax for a couple hours. I'm going to let him explore when I'm not in the room, just in case he feels more comfortable that way. And then later, I'm going to put some coconut oil on his ears. And I'm going to put some eye ointment in his eye and just like clean up his eyes and his face real well because he has a lot of like crusties. So he's so freaking cute. I wish the lighting was better. It's thunderstorming outside. If the lighting was better, you guys would be able to see him better. But <laughs> since he is um, brown and black, it is really hard to take videos and pictures of him with poor lighting because you, you can't even see his eyes or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and go eat and relax a little bit because I do get really worked up when I'm meeting strangers, like my anxiety gets so bad. So I need to like calm down myself because the whole experience just is anxiety ridden like crazy. But I will update you guys later when we do our little physical exam on them and weigh them and everything. Alright guys, it has been about four hours and we are a lot more active now than when we were earlier when we just got home. He ate all of his hay and he went and he slept in the bed. He's been pooping, drinking water. I refilled his hay and now we're just going to do a little physical on him and clean him up a little bit. So his coat feels good. He doesn't feel like he has dirt on him at all. Um, his nails don't need to be cut, but I am going to put some eye ointment in his eyes and put some coconut oil on his ears because they're very dry. Um, and just clean up his face a little bit because his face is what really needs some mending. So he's done a couple of little sniffles here and there. Nothing too concerning. I think it's mainly just from the dust. If it definitely gets worse, I'll take him to the vet for sure. But I have some coconut oil here and this is what I am going to use on his ears just to clean up his ears a little bit he's never really had too too much like physically done to him so i can tell he doesn't really like being handled that much he's not bitey or anything but i'm just going to put 
some coconut oil on his ears to help with the dryness because there's like crusties on them. And then I'm also going to clean the inside of his ears, but do one thing at a time. I unfortunately ran out of gauze, so I'm using cotton balls. So I'm putting some saline solution on a cotton ball, and now I'm just going to wipe his eyes. Then I have some eye ointment that I'm going to put in his eyes and some eye lube as well. I'm just going to put some teramycin in his eyes too just to help lube his eyes up for his own good. And he's, he's being really well behaved. I can just tell that he's not enjoying it. I mean, I, I don't know who would, honestly. Now I'm going to try to clean the inside of his ears if he'll let me. Very dirty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll try to clean them a little bit better another time, but I don't want to do like too much to him. Very good boy. He did so good. And he's a lot more active now than he was. Um, he was actually running around the cage when I came in, so that's a really good sign. I need to walk over there and get my scale real quick. So let's go ahead and weigh him. Put him in a bowl. 767 grams. 767 grams is not terrible. It's a little petite, but there are some piggies that are a lot smaller than others. Like I have some that are almost a thousand grams. And then I have like Beans who's only 700, Sabrina who's like 800. So every pig kind of weighs differently depending on like their breed and how much they eat and how they just put on weight and everything. So if he was like under 600, I would be like super concerned. But I don't see his bones. I can't feel his bones. So he's a, a pretty good weight. I'm obviously gonna try to put some more weight on him for sure, but his weight is not concerning. He is now grooming himself. I put a lamp in here so I can turn off the big light, but he's grooming himself and he seems to be enjoying himself. I gave him some more hay and I'm gonna also go get a little air purifier to put in here too. So yeah, I am just gonna let him be. Let him chill out. I'm going to give him some veggies later. Probably just a bell pepper. I don't want to put too much on his stomach right now. Um, but probably just do a bell pepper tonight and then give some veggies tomorrow. But he's drinking water. A lot of water, actually. Do you want some? Do you want some? I know you love your pellets, huh? Yeah? Yeah? Ready? Here you go. It has officially been one week since getting Mr. Kringle here, and he has been doing so, so well. He has really, really come out of his shell even in just one week. Every time I come in the room now, he starts weaking, he starts doing popcorns, he starts running around. He's so much more active than he was. Instead of staying in one spot, he actually kind of like runs around and explores. I've been collecting all his poop and extra hay in this basket so I can go dump it outside. He goes through little phases where he gets like scared and he hides. And then a couple hours later, he will be like super, super active 
and weaking and he comes right up to me and he seems like super super happy he really loves hay i bought him his own little hay bag here with some different hay blends i also have some pellets in here for him too which he really does like the pellets and he also loves 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 his veggies he eats them like crazy. He doesn't mind being held. Look at this cute little guy. He's so cute. Now you can see him a little bit better now that the sun is out. His eyes are a little gray. He's a little bit older. You might be able to tell in this lighting how much older he is. But he's a really, really sweet little guy. He's so, so cute. And I love his little ear flicks that he does. Look at him. He's so precious. He drinks a lot of water, so I've had to fill the water bottle up like twice a day. So I don't know if he was dehydrated. Her poop He has like a couple dehydrated looking poops here and there. I noticed he doesn't really use his bed. He like sleeps next to the bed or he'll sleep right here. This is his favorite spot. Every single day I come in, he's like dead asleep. Like I literally have to like poke him to wake him up. I don't know if maybe he's a little deaf because honestly he kind of acts like it because he doesn't really pay attention to any noises that happen. Like if I walk into the room, he will stay like dead asleep, eyes closed, laying down. And I kind of have to like touch him for him to know that I'm there. So I'm not too sure if he is deaf in any way. It's kind of hard to like test that. That could attest to the fact that he just like randomly gets like super anxious because he can't hear me coming. I'm not too sure. I'm still gonna like keep an eye on him to test out that theory, but he just kind of acts like he can't hear very well. Here's a better angle of him with the sun out. Now you can actually see him a little bit better because there's natural lighting, but he has some gray hairs. He has a cute little gray hair on his little nose. And then he has some like tan patches and he has like a little crust on his head. So he's a little crusted guinea pig. But his eyes have been looking a lot clearer. His ears aren't dry anymore. And overall, he just looks a lot better health wise. And he seems to be in good enough health to be able to move over to the pet room. I'm going to focus on that in the next vlog. Um, in my next vlog, I'm going to do like an entire pet vlog where I clean the pet room. I make him a cage and I put him in the pet room to see how he acts. Um, I'm gonna do some rabbit unboxings and stuff like that. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to get it out in January. So like I said, I am slowly going to start coming back to this channel. I'm not gonna be uploading multiple times a week like I used to, but I will be uploading at least, I wanna try to shoot for like three to four times a month if I can. Let me know down below what kind of videos you would like to see but it's mainly just gonna be guinea pig, pet vlogs, stuff like that. I'm really happy that I was able to rescue him and give him a good home. Um, his old owner messaged me and she gave me her thanks and she was very sweet. So glad it ended up being good in the long run and I'm very happy about it and he's just so freaking cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am so glad to be back and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>